Hare Krishna. Question Who is responsible for the Holocaust? Is it the Jews themselves who are responsible for the suffering that came upon them? Or is it Hitler that is responsible? Or who was who is behind this brutal killing of millions of people? Answer actions that happen have multiple levels of causes for example let's look before we go into pinning responsibility on a particular agency look at let's look at multiple level of cause causality for example now if somebody gets currently there is the great danger of ebola coming now if you want to look at the cause of ebola what is the cause? And specifically, we could say that it's the infection by a particular infectant. So now, uh, for uh, now, so who is responsible? We could say that okay, I was in an area that was infected, so I am responsible. Or we could say that that person uh, with whom I came in contact, or that person, so and so person was infected, and that person traveled from Africa to. America and travel freely around America despite having Ebola and that person is responsible for the spreading of Ebola or we could say that oh there were proper medicines although right now there are no medicines but there are proper medicines but the doctor did not doctors did not administer them properly the doctors did not take adequate adequate you know, preventive measures protective measures and that's why Ebola has been spread now if you if you see all these are true so now the important thing is when especially there are mass calamities more important than pinning blame is taking corrective action or preventive action for something similar happening in the future now beyond all this these, these are all factors which contribute to the immediate cause but beyond that there is another level of causality which goes further behind and that is where we talk about the cause, level of causation at the karma level. So now, when we talk about past life karma, a very important principle to understand that is, it is not a replacement for this life cause effect, but it is an extension of this life cause effect to a larger context. That means that, suppose, <coughs> A person drives carelessly and meets with an accident. So now, is that accident because of past life karma or this life karma? So this life, this life karma is also definitely a factor. If a person had not driven carelessly, then it's quite likely that accident may not have happened. So the point is, it's not the past life karma does come into factor, but it is a replay. It is not a replacement; it is an extension. So now let's go to the Holocaust. Now, certainly, it is Hitler who is primarily responsible for that brutality. It was he who, uh, along with, of course, his uh, evil team, came up with the plan of uh, destroying Jews, whom he imagined were the enemies for the for his realization of the dream of a Nazi empire that spanned the world practically. So now it was he who was orchestrated for the brutality, or who primarily orchestrated the brutality, and he is responsible. So he will get the karmic reactions for having killed so many people. Now, uh, that is from the point of view of causality. If a person is caused something, that person is responsible. Now, uh, when we talk about are the Jews responsible, we have to understand that when we talk about past life causality we are not to judge people according to their past life karma we are meant to ensure that justice and fairness happen according to this life karma in the sense that we see in the vedic literature also there are many tales many stories many past times of how kings take assertive action when there is any injustice that is happening the Ramayana describes how even a dog or a cow which was being which was having some grief, it could come into the court of Lord Ram 
and Lord Ram would dispense justice even to that. And so what to speak of citizens coming up? And the causality would not be said, oh this thing has gone wrong because it's past life karma. No, it was never like that. So justice has to be administered according to the principles of justice. If a person has done something wrong in this lifetime, then that person has to be corrected. So Ravana abducted Sita. Lord Ram did not think that, oh Sita has been abducted because of her past life karma. He punished Ravana for that. So we should, in general, whenever calamities happen, the corrective actions have to be taken by the state administration based on this life karmic understanding, with this life accountability. So and the, now beyond this life accountability, from the point of view of philosophical understanding, uh, as well as personal reconciliation, we also consider the past life karma. So yes, there were many Jews who were terribly persecuted. And why did this persecution happen? We understand that there might be another person who is the immediate cause, but ultimately the principle of cause effect reigns supreme. And whatever happens to us is an effect of what we have done in the past. So therefore, if, if, if we find that something has gone wrong, something, some disaster has happened, it has because of our past life karma. Now, what might have been the past life karma? It is difficult for us to know. The important point recognizes that cause effect is often delayed. And sometimes the, it is so delayed that we may not be able to figure out the cause effect also. So that means that just as different seeds fructify after different periods of time, so similarly different actions fructify after different periods of time and some may fructify even after one after an entire lifetime into a, into a different lifetime entirely. So uh, when this sort of mass karmic reactions come, that means there are many people who may have done different kinds of bad karma at different times. but their reaction is given to them through one mass calamity like this. So now, when such mass calamities happen, the point is not to justify the evil. The point is to rectify it. And that rectification has to be done by responsible and virtuous administration of the uh, state administration. So that is always the way the emphasis. When injustice will happen, Injustices have to be rectified, not justified. So, <clears throat> the Holocaust, who is responsible at the level of the travesty of the justice and the level of brutality that happened? Yes, it is Hitler who is responsible. And Hitler will get the karmic reactions for them. And at a deeper philosophical level, you can say, yes, the Jews who did this, they had done some past karma in the previous life because of which they got the reactions but that is not the important thing to consider when we are talking about administering justice as I said the principle of cause effect is what is central to karma and when we cannot make cause sense of cause effect in terms of this life cause effect links then we understand that we extend that cause effect framework to beyond this life, to uh, be able to philosophically uh, understand the cause of suffering. But that extension is not a justification and that extension is not meant to act as a replacement for rectification in this lifetime. So the world has seen uh, enough suffering, and especially in terms of the Holocaust and that's why the governments have to be vigilant always to ensure that brutal regimes like Hitler never take power by which they can kill innocent people, innocent of this life's perfect world, in such terrible quantities. And that is the responsibility of state administration. Thank you. Hare Krishna.